Uh, here in the wall garden we use a lot of companion planting. We've got cosmos and uh, annual dahlias to attract insects such as hoverflies which are natural predators for aphids. We also have a meadow area where we try and encourage insects such as uh, lacewings which are also natural predators. Uh, hopefully as well the, the ladybirds will lay their eggs on the plants and the larvae will eat the aphids. Uh, another way of controlling the uh, aphids is by hand, which is a little bit time consuming, but if you can pick off the infected areas um, or brush off, or you can also use a soapy water solution. Uh, we had a problem with aphids on our cabbages last year and we washed them with a soapy water solution. Uh, another th uh, problem obviously is slugs. Um, we sometimes use very sharp grit, which they don't like. Also, uh, people use beer traps, copper wire. There's also another technique using garlic, which you boil down and use as a solution, and you can spray on the leaves and they create an odor that the, or taste that the slugs don't particularly like. Um, also, we try and attract uh, birds in the winter and the early spring to the garden, and they're very good natural predators to, to help with the slugs and also the aphids. Uh, you can also make your own uh, hibernation area for overwintering uh, beneficial insects. Uh, so just a, a pile of debris, uh, old twigs, sticks in a corner and just create your own wildlife environment. If you can, you can also add also your own, your own little water feature, encourage frogs which will also um, eat your slugs. Uh, we also use our protective netting over the cabbages to stop the cabbage white butterfly laying its caterpillars. Um, there again, if you can, uh, time consuming again, but use uh, picking technique, use your hands to pick the caterpillars off as you see them.